running a laser on your pistol caliber carbine. Have it set up for carbine ranges. We'll show you how in this video. Hey everyone, Matt with Catalyst Arms. We're out at the range today zeroing a Crimson Trace Laser Master we just mounted on our PC carbine. We mounted it using our Hardpoint M-Lock rail extension. That way we can run a laser on the side or the bottom, and we can also run a light. So, how do you sight in a laser for a carbine? We get asked that a fair amount, so today we're going to share a few tips on how to set that up. There's two basic ways to sight in a laser. You can sight in to a point of impact at a given distance, or you can sight in so the laser is parallel and offset to the center line of the bore. When sighted to the point of impact, the laser is zeroed only at that exact distance. Any other distance, the laser is going to be off. The further from the zeroed distance, the more your laser will be off in relation to the point of impact. It's even more of an issue if the laser is mounted on the side. Admittedly, it's probably academic at most laser sight ranges. That being said, there is a way we can make the laser more consistent to the point of impact at most distances. For setting up a laser on a carbine, we prefer the offset method. That way, the laser never crosses the path of the bullet. Instead, it stays constant in relation to the point of aim. This works well for lasers that are mounted on the bottom, and it works particularly well for a laser that's mounted on the side. So for example, let's say our laser's offset is one inch to the right. If we sight it in to be one inch to the right of the point of impact at, say, 15 yards, it's still going to be roughly one inch to the right of the point of impact at practical distances. The chances are you're not going to shoot a laser that far, and it really wouldn't be that far off anyway. But with this method, there's no guessing. When we installed the laser, we measured the components and then calculated our offset with some math. Divide by pi, carry the decimal, take the square root, divide by half, calculate the bore diameter. All kidding aside, for this you can easily just eyeball it with a tape measure to get excellent results. So one great way to set up your laser is to make a target showing your offset. Then simply aim your carbine with your primary sights and then move the laser over to the calculated offset point. So our target would look something like this. So when the laser is pointed here, the bullet should impact here, which is where our loophole Delta Point Pro is currently zero. This is way easier to do with a friend, a colleague, someone that owes you money, whatever. Two people make it easier. Just line up your sights or red dot on the aiming point and adjust the laser beam to the calculated offset then it should be ready to go. So there you have it. Our laser is dialed in and ready to use on our PC carbine. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Hopefully we shared some information that was helpful. If you have a PC carbine, definitely give our hardpoint rail extension a look. It gives you 3M lock slots, which gives you a lot more flexibility for the lights and lasers that you can mount on the PC carbine. If you have any questions, please visit us at www.catalystarms.com. Definitely like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.